thinking on the porch while I eat some beef stew my mother-in-law gave me. Sorry for the weird cam camera angle. Um, I started thinking about cowbirds. I'm not entirely sure what the birds are called. Um, otherwise, but we call them cowbirds. And uh, what they are, these, they were just over here, of course, now that I'm filming, they're not. But they're these black birds with uh, brown heads. And you see them perched on cows uh, eating the bugs and whatnot off the cows. And it's a symbiotic relationship. The birds get food, the cows get pest control. My kid is attacking a tree over there. That's what the noise you hear might be. I have a something in my eye. Hold up. Good gracious. Okay, I thought this was going to be like a quick swipe at my eye, but apparently not. Oh my goodness. I'm using the screen to help me figure out what the heck is going on with my eyeball. Oh, that hurts. I may have to ditch this whole clip. Oh, there we go. Apparently it was an eyelash. Oh, that hurt really bad. Let's see if I can get it on film. Can you see the... Uh, what is with the birds leaving when I'm trying to get them on the camera? Anyway, back to my food. Back to the talking. I think my symbiotic relationships, guys, and then turned into this whole thing. Um, I, was, I was thinking about cowbirds, and I was thinking about neighbors. My mother-in-law made this delicious beef stew. And... Our neighbors across the street have been bringing us um, eggs almost weekly, if not more than once a week. And my mother-in-law just took them over a pot of this stew because she cooks for an army. She raised six children, um, owned a store with a cafe in it, knows how to cook for many, many people. See the minion. Mommy. Slaying trolls and dragons. And I was just thinking about, I think it was Heather Jo Flores, but it might not have been. But I want to say it was in her permaculture course with the um, Permaculture Women's Guild or Women's Permaculture Guild. I'll put the link below. Um, if you're not taking community into an account when you are creating your permaculture garden, home, homestead, lifestyle, then you're not doing permaculture. And it just made me think too about this pandemic survival situation. No, I've not eaten my beef stew yet. <laughs> Um, that, you know, I saw, what was it? I saw this meme the other day. It was talking about, like, the apocalypse or pandemics or just mad um, society changes in the world. <laughs> um, it shows people, like, Huddled up, best, you know, strongest survive, uh, hoard your resources, avoid others. And while there is some, there is something to that and that people can be dangerous. In times like this, you see the, both the very best and the very worst in people. As we see with people uh, protesting. Um the stay-at-home orders 
which are done for the safety of others. But then you see things like symbiotic relationships between neighbors occurring. You see people giving stuff away that they might normally charge for. You see a lot of good in people too. And you see people coming together and the fact that we have to rely on each other. We have to rely on essential workers like my husband to keep the gears of our society machine still going with shipments and traffic, sorry. Um, garbage collectors and mailmen and all that and people reaching out and saying, hey, how can I help you? People offering free masks on Twitter and bartering again, or if they were bartering before, doing more so now. I love it. I just love seeing it. So, just a lot of thoughts. I would love to know in the comments below, what are some ways you are reaching out and uh, working in your community? And have you developed <laughs> have you developed any new symbiotic relationships? <laughs> you a chicken? <laughs> He's a chicken. <laughs> Alright, so let me know in the comments what uh, new and developing symbiotic and community relationships you're developing during this time, which is really interesting given the fact that we've got stay at home, self-isolation. And yet we can still find ways to reach out and be together.